Hi everyone, Vlad here for another video. Today's video is going to be about a topic that I've get, uh, gotten a lot of emails about, uh, a lot of people want to know. That I, that's things just out of curiosity because you keep hearing about you keep hearing about it on the news, and it's about the abandoned cars of Dubai. You see a lot of pictures, a lot of documentaries about it, but uh, I rather give you guys this snack bite, snack size video to just explain to you how come there's so many amazing. Uh, luxury supercars, hypercars, uh, just gathering dust in Dubai. You might you, you might just be here as a tourist or you might be here as a resident and you're just wondering how come I see these X6 or these Ferraris or these Jaguars or these Mustangs, this and that, just gathering dust on the side of the road. Um, well, the, the explanation about about this is that basically it's it's expats or it's locals even that have just are, have, haven't been able to put up the payments for these cars and they just decide to leave the country. This is kind of the broad generalization uh, that can be taken from this uh, because obviously here in Dubai, not like any other country, there is no basically laws regarding to when you file for bankruptcy. So it's, it's a criminal offense if you can't uh, make your payments, if you bounce a check. So rather than to face the music and uh, you know stay here and eventually face uh, criminal charges people rather just pack up and leave and then just you know deal with it later or just never really deal with it so that's why they're just gathering up dust uh, it's not uncommon that even in the random neighborhoods where i used to live in the greens there'd be always this porsche that would just gather dust and would just always break my heart because it's an awesome car and it's just gathering dust gathering dust gathering dust or at parking, you know, at even supermarkets. There's been this Mercedes for the past six years, it's just there, the tires are deflated, it's just looking very, very sad. And uh, yeah, there's just not much people can do about it because it's not people, it's still the, that person's car, they just decide to take their stuff and just leave the country and just not deal with it. Uh, fun fact though is that after 15 days, if the person did not uh, collect his car from the impound, uh, you know, yeah, the impound pretty much, what am I saying? Uh, then that car uh, will and can be uh, up for auction. So this is where you can find, you can grab yourself a bargain. I'm not really entirely sure when these things happen. Uh, I'm sure, well, if you're actually curious and you, you wanna, you know, you wanna snatch yourself a nice little Porsche or a Ferrari or whatever, whatever you want, you can get an amazing discount for it. Uh, because yeah, so they would the, the police would impound the car for 15 days, and then if that person fails to go, then that car will be up for uh, auction. So yeah, guys, I hope it, I hope it kind of clears it out. I hope I'm gonna stop receiving emails about you know can you do a video about it? Because yeah, I mean obviously I can, and this is what I'm doing right now, and hopefully it will just you know shine uh, shine some light on this topic, the abandoned cars of Dubai. So when you see one on the street. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of sad. I know there's a lot of, of them just gathering dust and uh, for car geeks or for car fans, it's just kind of sad, but it is what it is. What can I say? Um, and yeah, so hopefully guys, this, help, this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please give it a like. Drop me a comment in the comment section below if you want me to answer any of your other questions that you have about Dubai. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.